Michael Jordan has not played in 10 years. Did you forget how great he was? Then you see the pictures, the old ones, and they remind you. They remind you where the legend started and where you were the first time you saw the skinny guard from Wilmington. The legend started in Chapel Hill. It started as Mike. It started at the Superdome against another freshman superstar, Georgetown's Patrick Ewing in the NCAA final. It was Jordan's shot that won it. From there, the legend grew and grew. Collegian, Olympian, sensation. And the game winners like elevating over Elo, just as he'd done again and again for the Tar Heels. Then came the rings. The high-flying lay-in, switching hands against the Lakers. We saw the way he could finish with the left, like against NC State. That form on his jumper, it never changed from his Tar Heel days, only got better. He won titles with it. He shrugged because of it. And we first saw it in the ACC. And even as Jordan's legend grew, and he flew nearer to the sun than any basketball player ever had, his game remained grounded in the team first lessons he learned from Dean Smith. Now Jordan is 50. 50, it doesn't seem possible, but we all get older and frequently the best memories are the oldest ones, like the ones we have of a young skinny guard from Wilmington who showed up in Chapel Hill as a freshman and went on to change the sports world.